NBA basketball, college basketball, high school basketball. If a ball goes into a hoop, hoop section more is there. DFW's basketball show, hoop section and more on the Donnie Sports 17 Network. <laughs> Ha 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 The semifinals of the Men's Conference USA Championship. Marshall taking on Southern Miss. As wide open, Marshall could be the next team to possibly steal the Conference USA title. Last night, as we listen to music, last night uh, Southern Miss took down the top seed in Middle Tennessee. Uh, Marshall took care of business against uh, UT San Antonio, so that's why we are here. And there's another game coming up after that. Tomorrow night they will play for the Conference USA Championship. Coming up after this game here on the special edition of the Donnie Sport Hoops Action and More Show, post-game reaction to the action. We're going to talk to the winners, the coaches, the players. And as you can hear, lots of clapping going on. Hoop section and more. March Madness playoff run right here on the Don Esports 17 Network. With us is head coach Dan D'Antoni and student athletes Jansen Williams and John Elmore. And at this time, we'll begin with an opening statement from coach. Well, obviously, I'm glad to win just to advance and um, keep riding, the, riding in the saddle of these young people who Played well, especially the first half, I thought we were outstanding. Um, the second half, we got to play a little bit better with the lead. But uh, in the end, excited about winning. Got a chance to play in the uh, conference championship for the second year in a row. And uh, hopefully we can uh, pull this thing off and uh, see if we can't get into uh, the NCAA tournament. All right, questions for our student athletes? Raise your hand. We'll get, um, get the microphone to you. <coughs> Jansen, what was it like to have a game like you had in front of your parents tonight? Uh, it was amazing. It really was. Um, at the time, I didn't even know I had 17 points at all. Or five rebounds, I was less than that. Um, it was good to see them proud. Uh, Jansen, talk, talk about the uh, rebounding game tonight. You guys were up, I think, at one point, uh, like 30 to 18 in the rebound game. So, um, just kind of talking through that aspect. Yeah, they, uh, they're really small, um, but it comes with its strengths being small. Um, they're hard to box out since they got a lower center guard. Um, it's hard to box them out, but we knew we had to, we had to overpower them. We had taller guys. Um, we just knew we had to. Donnie Ernick from the Dynasty Sport Hoops Action Motion. This question is for John Elmore. Uh, you had a big game, and uh, but one basket was huge. That three-pointer uh, close to the end when uh, the other team was getting just making it a little bit tight. Are you uh, looked upon to be the calming effect when things get a little bit uh, close uh, 
in the game? Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of the role I see myself. Uh, coaches have done a great job all year just kind of coaching me, helping me understand the game in certain uh, aspects, um, especially when the game's kind of getting a little tighter. Um, we're getting a little stagnant. We've taken a couple bad shots. So uh, that's my job as a point guard leader on this team to try to make this team flow, uh, run smoothly. And uh, so we got a little stagnant at the end. They made a run, but CJ made a good pass. I knocked down the shot. So uh, that's what we do. Uh, we trust in each other, one another. Um, it's kind of like a family environment. Everybody's close. So a lot of people contribute. So uh, it was a great team win, and uh, we're happy to get back to the championship and hopefully end it a little different than last year. Uh, for John, uh, you had kind of a rough shooting night last night, but you really came back today and kind of dominated on the offensive end of the floor. What what really opened things up for you today? Uh, just that next shot mentality. Um, I couldn't throw the ball in the ocean yesterday and uh, got a little frustrated, but uh, coaches have confidence in me. Uh, my dad and brother just kept coaching me up, helping me on the sidelines uh, before the game on my shot. Uh, so I stayed confident, kept shooting, thought the next one was going in, and uh, they fell tonight, and hopefully they keep falling as we move forward. Yeah, John, if you could just, uh, you guys, you've done it all year long, get a big lead and then maybe let up a little bit. What, what <laughs> is there any explanation for it? Uh, it's hard. Uh, they don't want their season to end. Um, they're going to fight tooth and nail uh, till the very end, till that last uh, horn goes off. And um, I thought we countered it uh, in certain aspects of it. I know they, we gave up a couple easy baskets. They got a couple <laughs> tough one-on-one -on -one baskets on us. But, uh I mean, it was a good team win. Uh, I know we were up a lot bigger, and we wish we'd have won bigger. But uh, win's a win. Um, what's the saying? You'd rather have a good win than or a bad win than a good loss. So uh, we'll take it and keep moving forward. All right. At this time, we'll excuse our student athletes, and we will continue with questions for coach. Thank you. They told me I could have used Penn at the end of the game, so you know, I just wasn't going to take a chance. Uh, what that means, I don't know. But uh, I, I'm assuming that he'll be available for tomorrow night. Uh, Jansen definitely would, you know, I, I think he shrugged his off. But uh, Adeem has had a bad ankle earlier in the year. And, uh, you know, sometimes the second or third one, it hurts a little bit, goes away a little faster because you don't have the tightness that you once had after the first one. So. Hopefully he's going to be okay. Uh, Coach, the last eight minutes in the first half, you guys held Southern Miss without a field goal. Uh, what kind of adjustments do you guys make on defense that you end up working? Yeah, no, not much. You know, I think adjustments is an overused word for media and coaches, so to keep y'all confused. But, uh, you know, those, uh, that's basically players playing. You know, we got toward the end, we didn't want to foul them. And, you saw Jansen stood straight up, didn't guard either, right? You know, I didn't say, don't foul, don't guard. I said, just don't foul. But, uh, you know, it, it happens you know, with the young people. and uh, They're trying to do the right thing. and They make mistakes like everybody else. But I thought all in all, especially first half, our defense, after the first four or five minutes was outstanding. We finally got engaged. I thought the first four or five minutes of the game, we, we weren't really engaged. I had to show them that I was a little bit on the bench. Uh, once they got engaged defensively, uh, I thought we did a nice job. I, they made a run on us a little bit because they quit shooting threes and they took some real hard twos and made them. So you got to give them credit. Now, I thought we defended them pretty well down in there, but they made two or three buckets right in a row that uh, were difficult to make. And then we came down on our end, and that's probably where we, we have to be a little bit more focused to get to a real good shot. Uh, probably John. John. Uh, one off rebounds, one off assists for a triple double. That's uh, those are pretty good stats. He's done that all year long. If you look at his stats from scoring, assist, uh, steals, rebounds, uh, I don't believe there's anybody in the country that has all of them elevated to the point he's either one or two in the country. Uh, in this conference, he's 15, one of the top 15 rebounders, one of the top five steal guys, leader in assists, leader in. Scored so pretty complete, I would think. And not just uh, sometimes he gets the rap of just being a scorer, but he's a competitor. He does it across the board. Last question, Ben. Coach, um, I know it's a getting. We all get that it's getting. Uh, it's late in the season. You got one more game uh, tomorrow. No, we got a bunch of games. 
Well, <laughs> but you got one more. I mean, you got to get to win the national championship. Well, let's see. You, you yeah. start counting yeah. those, then I'll agree with you. All right. <laughs> now, concerning that, is, uh, the scoring drops, are they uh, this late in the season? Is it a concern yet, or you just it's just fatigue or, or factor? I don't know. I'll take an 85-point scoring drop. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, there, there's a, the way we play, and if you watch, I hate to keep referring to him, I've given him way too much publicity, but if you watch my brother's teams, there's a lot of ebb and flow. You know, they sometimes they're sitting there, they'll go way up, and we used to have a saying, you know, you're up by 20, you hadn't won the game, you're down by 20, and we're still close. So that's kind of the way the offense that we run. It's a, it's a high-risk, high-reward offense. Uh, we got to get better at toning it down a little bit and being more solid. But uh, a lot of times that, that happens when you have the best athletes and they can just overpower people with quickness or jumping or something like that. Uh, we're not that. We are a very good executing ball club that uh, has to play at a high risk level and a high skill level because that's what we are. And uh, sometimes uh, when you get those scoring drafts, as you would call them, uh, I'm over it. I don't know what's going on. You know, we just got to play through them, and they just got to play hard and get through them. But uh, all in all, we're the leading, I think, or one, two, three, four in scoring the country. Uh, we're one of the top ten efficient uh, teams in the country. I uh, wouldn't call those droughts. Coach, thank you. Congratulations. Right, thank you. Yeah.